Hello everyone, Icecool Tech here. iPhone 7 on iOS 14.5.1, let's take a look. Now is your iPhone 7 currently experiencing battery drain? Yes? Well, then that subscribe button below is just right for you. By subscribing with notifications enabled, you'll free your iPhone 7 from all battery drain. Since updating my iPhone 7 to iOS 14.5.1, I've noticed absolutely no change in overall performance when compared to that of iOS 14.5. Now, this isn't really a bad thing as general performance did see an increase for me with iOS 14.5. Animations have remained the same as well, with only the widgets page still giving me stuttering issues. Your experience may vary, however, as some users have still reported unlocked stuttering and missing unlock animations with iOS 14.5, while others have said it was fixed. So that means that if you are currently experiencing stuttering issues on iOS 14.5, updating iOS 14.5.1 may not fix the issue. Now RAM management is also the same, yes I know, which is as expected because it's just a minor update, blah blah blah. Seriously though, not a single difference for me. Before I get into battery life, keep in mind that my iPhone 7 does still have a maximum capacity of 90% and has had no restarts. This means that the iPhone is not being performance throttled. Now battery life remains just as good as it was on iOS 14.5 for me on my iPhone 7. Whatever battery life you're currently experiencing on iOS 14.5 is really what you should expect to see after updating iOS 14.5.1. Now understand that the device has to re-index many system files in the background directly after updating the firmware so you may experience some overheating and battery drain for the for next couple of days. Now keep in mind also that your battery life can and will most likely vary from mine. Now overheating has not gotten any worse with this update either, it still happens under very certain circumstances, but this is only when you're really performing graphic intensive tasks, which again, is only natural. While everything really remains the same, we're still brought back to the main question of should you update. If you're on iOS 14.5, update as there's really no reason not to, especially if you're somebody who's experiencing app tracking transparency issues. If you're on an earlier release of iOS 14, I just say update at this point unless your battery life is currently even remotely close to being decent. If you're on iOS 13 and need to update, I'd recommend updating again unless you seriously need good battery life. If you're on iOS 13 or earlier and don't need to or care to update, I'd recommend just staying there for now. Alright everyone, that is all I have for this video. If you do have any questions or you'd just like to say hi, make sure to leave a comment down below. Of course, you can make sure to follow me on Twitter using the link in the description. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.